So now today we will learn the techniques of sweeping and folding. But first of all, let's start with sweeping. You see that the cleanliness of our home, the utensils, appliances and tools that we use shows the morals and goodness of the person using it. By keeping this clean, not only will it last longer, but it will be very pleasant to the eyes of those who see it. Moreover, we will have good health and great sanitation by keeping home clean. So, let's get familiar with the techniques of cleaning that has to do with dusting, sweeping, wiping and mopping. The first principle of cleaning is clean from the top to bottom. Start by dusting the cobwebs by lightly sweeping across from one corner to the other in the same direction so as to prevent dust spreading. When finished dusting away the cobwebs, the next step is to wipe equipment. Start by damping a cloth by singing one third into water and then rolling the cloth up and squeezing it so the water seeps throughout. A damped cloth should be damped over the whole cloth but not dripping wet. To wipe equipment from the higher heights downwards. Start by cleaning windows, mosquito guards, the window frames, from top down hardest part to easiest part. When cleaning a table, fold a cloth so that it is hand sized and follow the principle of cleaning from hardest surface to the easiest. For example, the corners under the table before wiping the table top by pressing and wiping in the same direction so that the dust collects into the same place and turn the cloth over often so you don't have to wash it often economizing on water through using every surface of the cloth Hold the broom with two hands by holding the end of the broom with your index finger controlling direction Start by sweeping the heart to reach corners Then, when sweeping, use moderate force, sweeping forward and not lifting the broom more than a hand's width from the floor to prevent dust billowing. Using your index finger to determine the direction of the broom head. And the last stage of cleaning is mopping. Dip a cloth in water, twist it, until the stamp. Fold the cloth so that it is the same size as mop head. Start by mopping from one corner to the other side. Mopping in line and mop back again parallelly. As the saying goes, home is our celestial palace, and the importance of our home is that it is the gathering places of our beloved family, right? So don't forget to keep our home neat and clean at all times. You will certainly feel happy and joyful if your home is clean. Remember that home is where our hearts are and nowhere else like home. Sawadee The orderliness of our personal and everyday items is very important. Once these items are organized, folded and put away in neat and orderly fashion, it will not be very easy to find, but it also be very pleasant to look at, right? So this step will help us with our moral development and also be forming good habits for ourselves as well. Methods for folding shirts 
Start by doing up all buttons. Turn the shirt over with front facing down and smooth the shirt out with your hand. Fold both sides of the sides of the shirt into towards the center equally. Divide the shirt into thirds. Fold the bottom third up. Fold the two halves together. Folding the long sleeved shirt follows the same principles as a short sleeved shirt. Methods for folding trousers Do up the zip and the buttons Fold the trousers in half and smooth the trousers out with your hand Fold the part of the trousers that stick out inside so they are straight Fold the waist and trouser bottoms together meeting at the center Fold the two halves together. Folding cloth in general and small towels. Start by folding in half, keeping the edges in line with each other. Fold in half again and use your hand to smooth it out. Divide the cloth into three, fold one third over and fold the other half over. Method for folding socks. Unroll the socks and fold the heels neatly. Overlay the two socks by overlaying the feet. Stick the end of the socks into the other end neatly. Methods for folding blankets Fold the blankets in half and smooth it out with your hand And then fold in half again Make the edges line up Fold the two edges into towards the middle Leave a little space in the middle so that when folding again, the two edges don't overlap And finally, fold it together and the last thing to remember is that once our clothes are dry, we have to fold it right away and once we are done folding it, we have to put it back in an orderly fashion. And remember that orderliness is very important and it will form our good habits for ourselves and make us through in everyday lives. Bye-bye! See you!